Hi there, welcome to Resident Evil 2. Let's get started. And let's also address the elephant in the room. We are currently working with a glorious 15 frames per second since my computer is very old. But if anything that just adds to the tension and the atmosphere of the game. So let's start with a new game of Claire Redfield. A different nightmare awaits Claire Redfield, who is unaware of just how drastically her very ordinary life is about to change. So since this is the first playthrough, we're going to be going nice and slow and stumbling into a lot of traps. So let's play with standard for now, so that we have more leeway with taking damage. Raccoon City, an industrial city in the heart of America, and Claire Redfield's destination. Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know? So I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now. How many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, it'll sink to teeth and I Oh, come on. Just getting good. I need some sleep. Oh shit! Go. Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? What the? Hello? So now we're in control, let's do what any good protagonist does and let's just leave the scene. So there's a lot of attention to detail in this game, so have a look at a lot of signs and the like as we're exploring the game. Since there's a lot of nice things to read. Like no parking at any time. And how there's only one way to go, apparently. Well, I refute that, let's go backwards instead. Let's just walk out of here and explore. Of nowhere. Nope, Claire does not want to go that way. The same thing will happen if we go that direction as well. So, we have to go into the truck stop. So let's get out of this rain first. There we go, just wipe yourself off, Claire. And now let's explore. So now there's a lot of blood here, so some accident must have happened. And there is a police car here. So maybe there was a crime. There are hamburgers, though. And I could really go for a hamburger right now. A little wine to wind down the day. Well, let's go get a hamburger. Hello? Anybody here? Who 
hello? So here's some herb ice cream with all the different types of herbs in the games. Nice little touch there. Right, so these are apparently the hamburgers, but they look more like donuts to me. Well, we can hear some scuffling in the back. Maybe we should go and see if we can help out. Nope, never mind. Well, there's definitely been something happening here. Are you okay? Wait here. I'll check it out. Oh, he wants me to go in here. Sure thing. We'll come back for you later, my friend. Does anyone need a hand in here? Excuse me, is everything okay? Stay back, man. I got this. We've just been a witness to a murder, so let's get out of here so we can go and call the cops. Hey, what the hell? Well, that guy just locked us in here with a murderer. Well, it's a good thing we have a gun for self defense. So let's shoot him in the leg, maybe that'll stop him. No? Come on, man. Right, there we go. He really did not want to die. Well, let's go and see if this other person's okay. Nope, he's definitely dead. Ah, oh, well, let's explore. So here's the key to get out with. Let's take that into our inventory. And we would like to stay here and look at all the sexy models, but we should probably really get out of here. We did just witness a murder. Is the murderer getting back up? Well, that's clearly not normal. Let's just get out. So we're going to our inventory, and then we can access items like keys from here. So let's use that and get out of here. Oh, hello. Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, hi, friend. <laughs> friend, what are you doing? Stay away. Let's just get out of here. This whole place looks dangerous. Well, don't shoot. Get down. We got to get out of here. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Come on! Get in! Hold on. have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. You live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore.
Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. The police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Looks like we're walking from here. Phone straight into a war zone. Let's just try and get out of here. There's no time to take this part pleasantly and slowly. So we'll just run straight through all of this. There are a few things to look at, but there's nothing to pick up during this whole one war. So I'm thinking zombies. Seems like it's zombies. So Police let's just station. start using our gun there. whenever we need to now, rather than worrying about hurting people. Pretty good with the uh, with the lack of loading screens, but sometimes there is a bit of loading from my computer anyway. Now here we are at the Raccoon City Police Station, so we can have a look around now. So this gate will never break down, so we're safe here. So it seems like there are some body bags. Let's not interfere with those, since we now know there's zombies. Seems like there's a graveyard over there. Yeah, there are a lot of body bags here. This doesn't bode well. Well, let's just get inside and get out of this rain already. So at least this place looks safe. So here's our first item, the first aid spray. That'll fully heal us. Also, if we go into our inventory, you can see that this key now has a red tick next to it. So we can select to discard that now, since we no longer need it. 
certain items like this um, set of handgun bullets here in the harder difficulty will be replaced by an ink ribbon. So we do have some extra ammunition and healing in this game. Come on, Chris. Where are you? Oh shit. They're inside too. David! Marvin! You there? I found a way out! It's in here! Send reinforcements! East hallway! I should help this guy. Well, we have our first mission of the game. Let's go save that person. So here's a typewriter. We can use this to save, but there's really no need at the moment. And over here is the item box. Ignore these deluxe weapons. Um, they're from beating the game a few times. So let's just go like this for now. Actually, for the time being, we'll put down the first aid spray. We don't have much inventory space. Even though I'm going to be uh, faking doing this as a first playthrough, like stumbling into traps and the like, I'm still going to use a bit of foresight just to make sure we don't have to uh, backtrack for storing items as often. Alright, so here's our first main puzzle. To do with that statue. But for now, let's go and save that guy. Well, it warns us to keep out, but we really do need to go and save this person. There's a lot of blood in the police station. I don't think it was a good idea coming here after all. But then again, we couldn't have known about it. Alright, so this is missing a fuse. So we'll come back to this later when we have a fuse. So I'll probably talk about... Um... Right, I think people boarded that for a good reason. Let's stay away from Focus, that. Focus, Claire. Focus. It looks like people were living here temporarily. We did hear on the radio that they were saying that uh, civilians should seek shelter here. But obviously it's not ended too well. So we can get a sneak preview of this room, which is locked from the other side. So we'll be going in there later. Anyway, what I was going to say is that I'll probably make um, a lot of comments relating to the original game, since that was also one of my favourites. So the police station as a whole is very similar. Are you a zombie? No, let's very carefully get close to him. And take his handgun bullets. Okay, looks like we can't interact with anything else in here. Let's just get out. We'll be walking most of the time, because we don't want to really rush into things, we're not supposed to know what's coming. So it's better to be careful. But of course when we get into some danger, then we'll have to start running. Right, we can't go into the men's toilets, so it's a good thing we are a woman. Otherwise it'll be awkward coming in here as Leon. Now that's just not pretty. Right, here we can get a first aid spray. In this game you don't get punished for using first aid sprays on your end game ratings. So if we get into danger we're definitely going to use one. So even though all the power's out, um, these hydrants work as a good light source a lot of the time. Ugh. Oh. Oh my god. Alright, so this is locked by a chain. 
So we'll keep that in mind for later. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! I'm here! Open the door! Uh, Hurry up! Uh, Hurry up! Uh, Open it! Uh, Larry, give me your hand! Help me! Uh, 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 hold on! Give me your, give me your other hand! We're having a really bad day here. Claire's clearly not used to any of this. Right, so here's his notebook. So this will help us with uh, one of the puzzles we've already seen. So let's take that. And right, let's just get out of here. Well, let's hide behind this table. He's coming over the table. Let's get out of here. Alright, we need to get back to safety. It sounds like people are breaking through the windows and everything. Let's get out of here. Obviously, someone taught you well. Yeah. I know how to take care of myself. Come on. <clears throat> so nobody knows what caused this? There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah. You're telling me. Hey, hey, keep that on. Just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think. Left weeks ago. Vacation? That's... that's great news. Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Good. <gasps> hey. Uh, hey, we should probably get you to a hospital. Oh, 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 forget about me. I can take care of myself. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're gonna need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. So you can see your brother again. Now. You'll probably need this. No, I'm not taking that. You're gonna... Shh. And be careful. If you see one of those things, no matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can. Or you run. So he gives us a combat knife. That's very useful. Thanks, mate. So Marvin here is going to be the only survivor we're likely to see for a while, since this place is crawling with zombies. So let's get started with uh, our little adventure here. So then we saw a notepad. So let's go into our notepad. Let's press E to go over. 
select this. We can see there are three signs underneath a lion. There's a lion's head, there's a piece of wheat, and there's a bird. And that's one out of the three puzzles solved. So we just need to find the other two of these, and then we can get out of here. So let's go put this down here for the time being. Give Marvin some hope by showing him that the entrance is here. Or the exit, rather. So Elliot was right. Yep, Elliot didn't yeah, die in vain. We're not out of here yet. Right, so similar to the original game, there's going to be four sets of keys. The spade key, the heart key, the diamond key, and the club key, which lock a lot of the doors in here. So these two are both spade key doors. And we'll just pause every once in a while just to take in the view, because this is a gorgeous game. Even though we're playing on some very low um, graphical abilities at the moment. Guess I may as well show those. Let's see, so let's check our graphics. Yeah, you can see our resolutions like that. I'm just going to scroll through these. So we are at 100% image quality, I did manage to get that on. No anti-aliasing, texture quality is on low, so a lot of these are going to be on low or off. But most of them don't really affect it much. But some of the things like texture quality is obviously going to make um, this look a little bit worse than other people's. I do like how there's a lot of makeshift barricades that people have set up here. At least they tried to keep the zombies out. But of course, the problem with zombies is that as soon as one gets in, or one person's infected, then you risk an, out an outbreak on the inside. Vending machine. Sadly, we can't get soda. That's the biggest crime of the whole game. So these saves were a few of them in the game, and a few lockers in the game that you can open. I can already open this right now because the code never changes. However, we're going to wait until we actually get the clues to open them. For the most part anyway, unless it's just a lot of backtracking. A guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know, while we are the home of the pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to just a few more of these unusual points of interest that our city has to offer. The Raccoon City Police Station, that's where we are now. The building in the centre of the town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the, in the main hall remind us of the bygone era. The orphanage! Oh, wonderful. We're obviously going to have to go to there at some point. Just a few blocks away from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from all around the world. It turns a museum into a police station. It's a good point. So There's pretty much going to be permanent rain throughout the whole game, adding to the atmosphere. So it's about time we actually start making some progress then. We've done everything we can at the moment, all the other doors are locked with the spade key, so we have to go and get that spade key. Alright, let's deposit this for now. Let's also deposit the green herb as well. Eventually I'm going to do some uh, challenge runs of this game, which includes things like the um, no item box run. And that's the biggest of all, because... Right, let's use this with the knife. So 
So this is a very well paced uh, puzzle opening game. Like we'll pick up things like this knife that allows us to access this door. Bolt cutters to get through those uh, bolt lock doors we've seen, things like that. So it uh, does open itself up organically which is nice. It helps you to avoid getting lost. Which is something that you could very easily do in games like this. No liquor. Okay, good. So yeah, the main problem with things like the item box run, another hydrant, is um, it's more of just a problem with, um, like, it's not the difficulty itself, it's more of... Let's look at the positive side, at least he's not going to come back as a zombie, this guy. Are you okay? No, he's very much not okay. Well, at least that guy's also not coming back as a zombie. So here's the club key door. Oh, so it looks like Marvin was the uh, cop of the month. Good on you, Marvin. So anyway, before I keep getting distracted, I'll just stay here to mention it. So the main problem with the item box run is more of a uh, problem where I can't help myself opening an item box every time I pass one. So it's very hard to break that habit rather than that any actual difficulty. Because if you touch an item box, you lose the challenge. That's how it works. Anyway, let's not talk about challenges. Let's continue. Hi, lady. So on windows like this we're able to board them up, but sadly we have no boards at the moment, so let's just continue. Well, let's get in here quickly. Yeah, we're not going to talk about like challenges as a whole though until obviously we've done with the game normally. Record of events. September 25th. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. 25th of Amendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under extreme stress. September 26th. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it to safety behind the emergency shutters. But surrounded as we are, it will be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure if we can fix any of the comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1pm. 12 people died, and there was only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here. David Ford. Right, so this is also a bolted door. Oh, it looks like she's coming in. So let's take this map. So here we have the um, access to the map for the first time. So rooms in blue are rooms that we fully explored and there's no items left in them. Rooms for the red, like if we um, look up to the second floor. How do we get to the second floor again? There we go. You can see the second floor is currently red because there is an item still in there in the safe. Right, let's just get out of here before that lady gets in here. Yes, zombies can break through doors in this game. They can also climb stairs. There's pretty much nowhere safe from zombies. Except for a safe room. But those are few and far between. Safety deposit room is this way. Hi, zombie. He really wants a ven something from the vending machine. Is that a soda machine or is it a snack machine? I think it's a snack machine. Poor zombie, can't get any snacks. Right, so this door's locked from the other side. Oh, no, we've got the attention of a zombie. Help me, 
is up with you? So, dealing with zombies. The easiest way to do it is to either go for headshots or go for leg shots. I think he's dead. Let's get our knife out. We still have the knife. We didn't use it up on the door. And now, let's try and slash this zombie. Now then, a note about the uh, the knife in this game is that it's tr it relates to your frame rate. And as you may remember, our frame rate is currently at 12. So it's going to be very hard for us to actually hit things with our knife sometimes. Let's see what snacks he was trying to get. Yeah, he was trying to get snacks, all right. Looks like there's some, like, fruit snacks there. Is that apricot? Apricot gummies. Oh, man, I could go for some of those right now. Sadly, we don't have any change. Right, so that area's locked off. We can't go there. That's locked. Let's check out the west office. You do get a lot of bullets in this game, which is good. There might still be enough to kill everything in the game, but it might also be getting close to that, so we'll try and avoid it if possible. Right, so here's our first taste of gunpowder. Let's read about gunpowder. Uses of gunpowder. Handgun ammo. Gunpowder times two. Acid rounds. Gunpowder plus high-grade gunpowder, which is white. Submachine gun ammo. High-grade gunpowder white times two. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things, or you won't get what you need. So we currently have one piece of gunpowder, so if we get a second one, we can get some more handgun bullets. Operation Report. September 28th, 2.30pm. It's down to just me and three of us. No weapons, no ammo. And too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place, left from the museum days. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof that there's even a tunnel, or that the sewers aren't affected with zombies. But I don't want to just sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try and find out what I can about this tunnel. Elliot Edward. Well, he was able to find out about it. Oh, there's an L here. Where did that come from? Oh, welcome, Leon. Yep, Leon's first day on the force. And all hell broke loose. That's a shame. Also, there's a spare L, because they spelt welcome with two L's. Classic joke. Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of a desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names. But you figure that out much, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Lieutenant Bragger. Scrawled in a corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. This place seemed like a fun place to work until all hell broke loose. Right, let's open his desk. Like, uh, Leon's not here, so we may as well do it. So that's a D for David Ford. That's an E for Elliot Edward. And that's an N for Neil Carson. So Ned is the password for this one. Like, obviously you could just brute force this, but there's really no need. Right, and how about this one? Right, so Marvin Branner, that's an M. Rita Phillips, that's an R. <laughs> oh. You are not dead. You asshole! Right, so when a zombie's down, it's a good idea to still shoot them one more time. To make sure they stay dead. Yeah, this guy seems to be dead. Obviously, it's the better idea to use the knife to double check. But like I said, uh, 
I have problems with my knife due to the frame rate, so it doesn't always land. Right, so we did say that getting this guy's was going to be hard. Because his is on the floor. That's a G. So we are looking for G, R, M. Or M, R, G, because it's the other way around. Let me see what's in our desk. Or Leon's desk, rather. The speed loader for the SLL 60. Well, let's combine that with our gun. So now we're able to reload our gun. Wow, the frame rate just died. Yeah, I expect that to happen sometimes. Don't know what's happened to it. Oh, well, let's continue. Hello. What are you doing up? You bastard! Let's wait for him to get around the other side. Yeah, so the speed loader is definitely, um... I wouldn't say required, but obviously helps out a lot. Alright, let's try and shoot you one more time in the head, just make sure you're dead. Oh, he is definitely dead. So if you shoot a limb enough times, it'll break off, and if you shoot the head enough times, then there's a chance that it'll explode, and that one-shots the zombie. But, um, contrary to what you might believe, it's actually better to go for leg shots, unless you can get lucky with a headshot. Because making a zombie crawl on the ground is much better, since you can deal with them easier. Right, the frame rate's gone a lot higher now. Well, it's 13, but, you know, it's higher. So here's the locker room. So there's some goodies in here. However, the problem is that it's missing two of the keys, the two and the three key. So let's see what we can open without the two and the three key. 106 we could open. 109 we could open. And that looks like a grenade launcher. We want to get in there. Right, we can't open anything on this side because it's all twos. So let's open 106 and 109. No, wait, that was one I already opened, never mind. Don't worry, I totally know what I'm doing in this game. Right, let's take these bullets. Commemorative photo. Right, so we need to get ourselves some sort of weapons locker keycard so we can get our grenade launcher. And the grenade launcher is one of the best weapons in the game, so we definitely want to grab that. Oh, we forgot to look at this note. Storage locker terminal memo. It appears that the keypad to the locker terminals is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else would fuck it up this badly? Yeah, so we can get some spare keys to um, open it. Right, so there's no respawning enemies in this game. Well, sometimes enemies might spawn later into the game that aren't that earlier. But um, as for the enemies we've killed, they won't return. Right, let's pick up these boards. And let's board up this window like I mentioned earlier. There you go, and now that zombie can never break through. Even if they destroy the window. Let's turn the light on. So this is one of the save rooms of a, save rooms of a game. We are in absolutely no danger here, no matter what happens. 
Medicinal benefit of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore these such herbs native to the Arclay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits, or so it was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heightens the herbs' effects, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realise the full potential of these herbs and the ability to heal the human body. Further research is such to, is sure to yield even more fascinating results. So it's a little bit unclear what it means by strengthen one's constitution. Basically what that means is that if we mix a blue and a red herb together, then it will give us a shield that will make us take half damage for about a minute. Which is going to be very useful for the boss fights of the game. Right, let's combine this herb. So this will now fully heal us, this green and uh, red herb. Right, so here we can develop some photos. Let's develop our commemorative photo. So this shows a statue we haven't seen yet, with a scepter and a book. So that will help us out with the puzzle later. Film contains evidence, do not leave it out. Right, so for now I want to combine our gunpowder together. Because at the moment we want as many handgun ammo as we can get. Or as much handgun ammo as we can get, rather. Later on getting grenade ammo will be preferable, but for now we really want the handgun ammo. So let's drop that behind. We'll keep the green herb on us. Then we'll go like this. Hi lady. You gonna move? Nope, she seems to be dead. Right, let's take that with bullets. I see a zombie. Right, let's just shoot the zombie. Get his attention. Oh. Let's see if we can get down there. Right, so that zombie just broke through the window. But luckily that's not a problem since we boarded it up. Right, are you gonna stay on the ground? Oh no! Right, I don't trust you being dead. Hell yep, is you up weren't with dead. You. Oh, we missed that shot. Back. We need to be careful not to waste our ammo because obviously it's finite. Jesus. Are you dead? Yeah, I think he's dead. So a zombie can get us from if we try and approach you from the front while it's on the ground. Yep, he's definitely dead. Good. Also, um, more attention to detail. We can come back here a lot later in the game and you'll still have all these slashes on him. It remembers everything you do in this game. It's basically just one big immersive playground full of really dangerous zombies. We've been getting lucky so far with dealing with the zombies. We haven't been attacked yet, which is good. We're keeping hold of our knife because as well as testing for zombies being dead, it will also allow us... Oh, we're really not allowed in the men's room, but, you know, I guess no one's here to stop us. Now, we need a valve handle to cut off the steam. Run. Zombie, are you dead? <laughs> like I said, being able to hit things at the moment for me is pretty hard. Now, we don't have the locker combination for this. Flame rounds, we'll leave them for later.
portable safe. Press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all up to open the safe. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all of the lights to go out, and you will need to start the sequence over again. Actually, you know what? We'll take it anyway, just in case I forget to pick them up later. And let's get out of here before we mess with this safe. To quiet it down a little bit, because we don't want the steam of the background. So this here is a puzzle. So we need to keep in track. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either just um, look for which ones go in a row, or you can look for whereabouts they appear on the screen. So for example, if we we know that these two, like so these three in that order will open up those three. So if now we just look for whichever one is over there, it's there. So now if we do this, then it will activate it since we already know which one that is. Because it's going to be annoying me trying to do this while I'm speaking. Like so. That goes in that order. Alright, those are in that corner, not the other corner. My bad. No, that was the wrong one. Of course I did it wrong. I'm not the best at memory, I should probably write this down. Welcome to uh, Vag, failing to um, solve a basic puzzle for children. I'm pretty sure I did that exact same mistake last time. This is glorious. I've never failed this badly on this puzzle before. It's because I'm trying to... Com like, let's not commentate. Let's just do it. There we go. It only took me probably like five minutes to do a basic puzzle for children. Well, obviously this game is rated either 15 or 18, so obviously it's not for children, but you know what I mean. It's a basic puzzle. Right, how much inventory space do we have? We have one more slot. Let's go pick something else up before we go back to the safe room. It's a fancy chandelier here. Like, I know this place used to be a museum, but still. Zombie. Sneaky game. It's just a statue. Alright, so here's another locked door. Or a locker, rather. Now here we can pick up the spade key. So we need that to open up all those doors in the main hall. Now while we're still here, let's combine these items so we can keep moving. It will save us having to go downstairs. That was a liquor. Well, hopefully we won't have to deal with those for a long time. 20 survivors. Consider this a gift to anyone still unfortunate enough to be alive. Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy fucks that look like they've been skinned alive. Liquors, we call them. They're blind as bats. But they're here it more than makes up for that. So long as you don't run around like a total idiot, guns are blazing, you should be able to slip by them. Probably. Either way, make sure, like... Make like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around him, yeah? Anyway, not that I want to go, but duty calls that and I've got a friend to avenge. David. Yeah, I've seen some of David's reports before. 
clearly he's given up on uh, writing properly as a policeman now, he's just interested in avenging his fallen comrades. Alright, so there's a storage room for all the spare art. And we currently can't carry any more, so let's explore this place first. Are you a zombie? some C4 here. And over here is one of the best items in the game. A hit pouch. Permanently adds more inventory to the game. Excellent. That's not there on the harder difficulty. You get more inventory space in the easier version. Some guy scribblings. Damn those corporate assholes. They cut me off after all I've done for them. But if that's how it's going to be, so be it. I'm going to have a little fun of my own as the whole world goes to shit. I've boarded all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and set up some C4. All i got to do is detonate it and it's sayonara, suckers. But it's no fun if it's all over too soon. So maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop. So good you had to die. Man, is this fun. I need some music for this. Okay. Well, I don't think Leon uh, was going to have a good time in this police station after all. Because clearly their boss is uh, rather the sadist. Let's just get out of here. So let's go and pick up these wooden boards. It's always good to have some more wooden boards. Now let's exit through here. So here's the library. Clear. It's Marvin. How fast can you get back here? Why, what's up? I've got something to show you. It's important. All right, I'm on my way. All right, so there's quite a few zombies down there. Sadly, that place is uh, currently sealed off. We'll have to solve a puzzle to be able to get over there. So what else is down here? There's some more zombies. Or potential zombies, anyway. So in this game, um, the enemies are very reactive to uh, any sounds you make. Which is one of the main reasons why we walk everywhere. Well, that clearly didn't help. <laughs> Luckily, you're completely invulnerable while you're on a ladder. So, zombies can't climb ladders, so they'll just wait down there for us, but then some of them might be smart enough to go up the stairs here. So, like I said, they um, react to sound, so when we broke through there, we triggered all the zombies in the room. If we start shooting, it'll trigger all the zombies. If we run, they'll trigger easier, especially if we're nearby. That's why we're walking a lot, to be stealthy. It's slower, but it's safer. So we're going to be walking a lot for this playthrough. And then we'll be more ballsy in the future ones. Stairs. Right, here we go. So that speed load is doing wonders for us right now. Oh, a headshot, perfect. Claire really does not like these zombies, which is understandable. What the hell? Right, we're missing a lot of these shots. We have to be a little bit more careful than this. 
you may have noticed that the um, crosshair will start to focus the longer we stay um, on target. So once we're on the ground, we have more time to focus. And focus shots, I believe, do more damage, as well as have a higher chance of uh, critically hitting the head. Right, he seems dead. Looks like all the zombies are dead. Let's just double check with our knife. <laughs> nope, that zombie was faking it. So that's one of the main reasons why we're keeping uh, knives on us, because they work as defense items in an emergency. So we can take our knife back. You can see there's a bar underneath our knife. That's for durability. It will go down every time you slash an enemy, or we use it as a defense item. Are you dead? Right, it's so hard scoring hits with a knife with my frame rate. Right, it looks like we've dealt with all the zombies now. That costs most of our ammo though, so we're in trouble. We need to pick up some more ammo. Right, your head exploded so we don't have to worry about you. So let's go around and look for more items. So you have another knife. We'll leave that there for now. We can always pick up a new knife later. There are no more like um, puzzle knives you need to open any more doors. So if you do fully run out of a knife, you're not screwed. Unless, of course, you have no other means of attacking, in which case you're definitely screwed. Right, so this was a guy being eaten. Luckily, he's not a zombie. There's some more bullets for us. So of course we could use the uh, map to have a look at which areas we haven't picked up items in. So we can, and it also tells us when we've seen an item that it's there. So we can always see there's a combat knife and there's a red book over here. We haven't actually seen that red book yet, but obviously our character must have scanned over it. It's over here. Let's pick this up. Here is another one of these statues. And there's also a map of the precinct. So now we have the full map of the second floor. So we can see there's a lot over here we haven't done anything with yet. And there's still some more here, but we can't get there due to the shower room. Is this gunpowder? This is gunpowder, excellent. Let's combine it with our current gunpowder. There you go. What's that sound over there? Is that the shower sound or is that an enemy? Well, either way, that door's locked so we can't find out. So then, let's check. Where is the notebook? Here it is. Right, so we can see that this is the unicorn statue. So we have to look for fish, scorpion, water. I think there's fish, scorpion, and water. And now we have the unicorn meadow. So we got two of the three items we need to leave the precinct now. Right, let's start using this key. Hi Marvin, you told us to come back, didn't you? There you are. Come here. What is it? Take a look. Oh my god, he made it. You know him? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think? Oh, uh, the rookie. Thought he looked familiar. You can make it to that courtyard. 
the second floor east side. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. Right, so we've now seen Leon. That's excellent. Now let's use the medal. There you go, we're almost to safety now. Let's open up this door. With the key. That will limit, um the uses of a key because we want to get rid of it as soon as possible. Now, and how many items are we carrying? We're carrying quite a lot. Let's put down some of them. Might as well put down the spare part for now. Should we keep the wooden boards? I think we'll keep the wooden boards. Let's put down the grenade rounds. We definitely don't need those. We'll put down the healing as well because we're currently doing fine on our health. So we'll keep the key because we can fully use that up and we'll keep these other things for now. How's our ammo doing? We've got 45 more shots, 50 in all. That's excellent. Now let's finish using the spade key. Then we'll be able to get rid of that. That's why we went to use it on the downstairs one while we were there. Yep, that's a fully used up spade key. Let's get rid of it. We could store them in the chest, but there's really no point. So here's an art room. Here's another board. Let's pick that up while we're here. So we need a crank to get through that shutter. Let's check out the art room. The weapons locker key card. We can finally get ourselves our grenade launcher. Excellent. An article, the red stone. The ruby that captivates Edward the Black Prince. The pearl that the Queen of the Nile milked dry. The diamond that led a queen to the guillotine. There is no end to the number of tales related to the appeal of jewels. This mysterious red stone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It's said that, that, that it once adorned a noble woman's jeweled box. And was even dedicated to a wise king. This fall, this stone that has long been shrouded in legend will be on display during auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there. But dear reader, one would do well to approach with care, for devilry lies in beauty's shadow. This jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despots more terrible than Calug Caligula, and we have tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. That must be the jewel we're talking about. Let's go check it out. So we saw a picture of this. Let's see if we can find it. It was the commemorative photo. It showed that he was also carrying a book. So let's pick up this arm. And let's put it on the book. And now let's give this guy a book. I was going to say let's give this guy a hand, but, you know, that would be a little bit too cheesy. go, and we found a scepter. Let's take it. There's a lot of fancy art in here. It's a pity we can't uh, take some of it with us. Because obviously it would be too chunky to carry it. We did hear a, a report about a helicopter earlier. Maybe we can get to safety with this one. Okay, I guess not. I guess we're screwed. Never mind. Does anyone survive that? Are you okay? No, oh, no, this looks bad. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's take this healing. 
We don't have any healing on us, so that would help. Hey! Claire? Leon! I'll be right there! We really gotta stop meeting like this. Are you all right? Please, Chopper, it just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm fine. I take it you don't have the key. No, I don't. It's good to see your face, though. How are you holding up? Hey, I'm hanging in there. Hell of a night, huh? <laughs> yeah. Did you find your brother? I did, actually. He's... <laughs> Just when you think it can't get any worse. Leon, you should get going. Don't worry about me. Just get yourself to safety. No, Leon, seriously, they're getting through the fence. Please, just go. We're gonna make it. Both of us. Marvin? What is that? I've got zombies everywhere. Marvin? Marvin, are you there? Marvin? You're gonna be kidding me. Well, luckily these zombies won't be able to get food here. So let's take these bolt cutters. We can actually examine items and they give us a better description. Like these cutting tools will now turn into a bolt cutter. A tool for cutting through chains and other metal objects. So now we can use this. We have seen a few doors that we can now open. No, oh, we're back here. Let's see if we can build, board up this window. No, we can't. Never mind. Well then, let's quickly get through here before that zombie notices us. Right, now let's board up these windows. The less zombies we have to deal with, the better. Oh, we've got maximum ammo in the slot now. Hi, zombie. So here's a flash grenade. We'll leave this here for now, because there's a lot of items in this room. Hi, zombie. Sure, he's dead. Yeah, he seems dead. Sadly, that sound. Oh no, we can still take our knife. Never mind. It sounded like our knife broke. We still have one more use out of it. Right, so our knife is still equipped. Let's slash this guy a few times. Make sure he's dead. Because sometimes that one shot you do to them isn't enough to trigger them. Okay, yeah, he's definitely dead. So uh, this flash grenade here is also a defensive item. However, they're really useful in this game, so we really want to avoid using those if we have to. I don't believe any zombies ever come through here, but let's board it up anyway, just in case. It's better to be safe than sorry. So here's a valve handle. We do need that. However, first... Let's pick up this. So how many more items are there in this room that we can pick up? I'm wondering whether we should come back for more or not. I guess we'll make a return trip since we are really close to an item box. So let's take this. 
and let's combine it with the high grade gunpowder so we can just take both at the same time. We won't be using those acid rounds for a very long time, but they'll be needed later in the game. Alright, so this is what was bored in the store earlier in the game. Let's open it. Sadly though, I think there may still be zombies. Whoa, there's definitely zombies there! <laughs> You're very rude. Alright, you dead? No. Right, you should be dead now. But again, let's double check. Yeah, he's still alive. So he faked that one uh, testing shot we did. Are you dead? I think he's dead. Yeah, I think he's dead now. How many more hits do we have left? Yeah, that knife's basically broken, so it'll be a very good defense item now to use before we leave somewhere. Alright, so how many more items are we carrying? Nothing at the moment. Let's get out of here. Now, is there anyone else behind this door? Right, we saw this place was missing a fuse earlier. Here's the fuse. Are these zombies still alive? Because we downed some zombies before. Like, they seem to be down, hopefully for good. Let's now explore this room. This is where that new zombie we just killed came from. He was locked in here. Right, now, do we have a space? We have a space. Okay, I'm going to continue to walk through here just in case those zombies are actually alive. We can do without triggering them by accident. Let's take the valve handle. And let's also take the green herb. We'll combine that with the other herb we have. There we go. There's uh, many more green herbs in the game than there are other types, so sometimes filling in the spots doesn't matter. Right now we can leave this area and we return to the main hall. Alright, so we know this place is safe, so let's continue. So we don't need the acid rounds. We could still use the wooden boards, maybe. Let's keep those just for safety. So we're going to use the weapons key card soon. As well as the bolt cutters and the round handle. We don't need the scepter for quite a long time. Let's go and pick up the flash grenade. Just in case I forget to return to it later. Because flash grenades are very useful for a fight later in the game. And the more of those we have, the better time we're going to have. Yes, I know, zombie. You're trying to get through that wooden board. So obviously, like all Resident Evil games, it's better if you don't have to kill everything. So we could have just completely avoided most of the zombies in there if we timed our movements correctly. But we're just going to kill everything in our, in our way just to be safe at the moment. Right, so let's go like this. This should be fine for the time being. So then, there is a bolted door we know about. It's over this direction. So let's make our way back through here. We've already been through here, so we should be safe. Oh, no, there are zombies returning. Okay, let's get out of here. Hi, zombie. <laughs> That's our knife gun. What the fuck? Well, that's our first damage of the game. It's a shame, but let's get out of here. That's why we have all our healing items. So it's worth mentioning our character is immune to the T-Virus, so we won't become a zombie. I don't know if they ever elaborate on that fact, however, they do mention during some of the games that apparently like 10% of the population is immune to the T-Virus, something like that. 
Right, locker room cap. So that's one of the codes we need to open a locker. And those zombies are really not letting up, are they? So my guess is that just all the protagonists are all immune to the T-Virus. They happen to be a part of that 10%. Or whatever number it is. Tamu lock. Alright, and we're back here. Excellent. So we've now fully used up our cutting tool. Also, are we carrying any healing? We are. Let's just heal up so our character doesn't uh, groan in pain any longer. We're fine now. Here we go. Here's the big guns. Our grenade launcher, the GM-79. So we can now swap them by going between our two... Uh... Right, I forgot the game automatically assigns them to the wrong keys. Let's assign this, our pistol, to the number one key. And let's assign our grenade launcher to the number two key. That's how I'd prefer it. Let's examine both our guns. We haven't done that yet. The SLL-60, the SLS-60 rather, 5 shot capacity, 9mm handgun. Its smaller capacity allows for a small size, making it extremely easy to handle. Let's examine our GM-79. Single round break action grenade launcher, capable of firing both flame and acid rounds. Great for area damage, but slow to reload. So that's going to be our best friend for quite a lot of the game. Well, we can now get rid of our bolt cutters, let's do that. And let's continue. So we do have one of the keys to be able to open up uh, some of these lockers. So let's see which one we want. There's some gunpowder. There's a knife. There's another hit pouch, but that's locked behind both two and three, which are both missing. And there's some flame rounds. I suppose let's use two. Let's pick up some more flame rounds. Of course, we don't have it on us. I forgot. Hi, zombie. Well, that wasn't this guy. There was a dead body up there. Yep, she's the one. Oh, no. You know what? Let's use our new grenade launcher. So the grenade launcher is the best weapon in the game for dealing with zombies. It is almost always, if not always, a one-shot kill to a zombie. As long as if you hit them directly. So let's just test that with a little slash. Oh no, that's our grenade. I forgot we used a bar. Yep, she's dead. So that's the best thing to use the fire grenades for, is dealing with zombies. There are some other enemies in the game that fire grenades are also good for, and they're also good for boss fights, but in general, being able to one-shot a zombie with no uh, worry about whether or not it's dead is um, very good and helpful to have. Right, so now we're down to no more defense items. However, there is a knife upstairs, so we can go get that. Right, so let's get out the um, missing key. I've noticed that the grenade launcher gets a lot of uh, hate from people because it can't blow off zombie heads with a shot like a shotgun can. However, it's a lot easier to use if you're not good with uh, aiming. Like me. Right, so which number was it again? 208. Because you have to get very close for a shotgun to be effective while you don't have to get as close for the grenade launcher. However, the downside is that you can't make the fire grenade ammo. That's finite. While you can make shotgun ammo if you're Leon, by combining them like we can make acid rounds. Right, let's get out of here. Wait, we can also open up this, can't we now? Yep, 102. Let's open that up while we're here. It's 
So I guess it's worth saying there's like no time limit to this game outside of obviously if you do see a time limit appear. So we can go as slowly as we like through the game and making sure that we do everything we need to do. That's what I love the most about this game. It's a really methodical game if you decide to play it that way. Like, we can go through one at a time, dealing with these zombies. We know they're dead. They're always going to be dead. We can clear out the rooms and very slowly you work your way to the end of the game. Alright, so let's uh, store our gunpowder for now. Let's see. Let's also store... No, we're going to pick up more flame grounds. We may as well take it. But I don't think we're going to be fighting too many more zombies. So I think we can put away the grenade launcher. Because we need a lot of inventory space for what we're going to now. Yeah, that zombie is never going to get tired of trying to break through that door. Right, so we now have this valve handle. Now we can go through here. Now we could really go for a shower right now. You can see all the dirt that's on us. Sadly, our character doesn't seem to react to that like she does to the rain. Zombie. Just checking all the showers. No, I don't think that's a zombie. Right, so there's some more ammo there. Oh yes, of course, I almost forgot. Let's go and um, open up this locker that we now know the combination for. It's C-A-P. For Capcom. Right, there's some more fire grenades. That was a really weird way of seeing grenades, but never mind. It looks like someone was meant to do the dishes. The dishes? I mean the laundry. Well, either way, it's cleaning. You don't look very friendly. Alright, there's a lot of dead bodies here, but we don't seem to be zombies, at least not for now. There is, of course, like always, our biggest nightmare. The inability to buy ourselves a cold soda. It's a real shame. So, we've already been told how to deal with liquors. If we run, we will aggro it. If we shoot it, we'll aggro it. Instead, let's just walk past. Let's not trigger it. We don't need to. If we trigger a liquor, it's very dangerous to us. We really want to avoid that. So here we are in the star's office. This is where our brother works. Right, here's a battery. Let's take that. I forgot to examine this item when we picked it up because we were being um, chased by zombies. Some sort of gadget, but it's missing a battery. It's for a detonator. Well, here is a standard 9 volt battery. There we go, now we can blow stuff up. Let's go. Internal memo. September 22nd, 1998. Office supply internal relocation notice. Heat resistant three number combination safe moves from Star's office second floor to West office first floor. The combo is 9-15-7. Please change the combo as soon as possible upon the seat. The RPD Facility Maintenance Department. So now I can go and access... Oh, it's a little bit of a closed camera. Sorry about that, Claire. We can now go and access um, the safe that's in the West Office. I forgot to look for that the last time we were there, but obviously we can have a look for it now. Sadly, we can't take the darts. Here's all the communication equipment, but like we were, we were told, it's all out of order. Right, some more high-grade gunpowder. First aid spray. Hmm. 
flash grenade. Fire grenades. Right, looks like that's everything. Looks like there's some sort of Uzi in there. It's like this place is locked. Now, oh, can we open it? Damn security. Account authent authentication is required. Insert your dongle key into the USB port. Now, well, sadly, we don't have one, so we'll have to come back to here later when we do. Right, so here are the different stars, officer. These different star desks for the different members. So this is likely Barry, since he is into guns. Either this or this is going to be Chris's. Because um, that's our brother's jacket right there, that Made in Heaven jacket. That's the one that we were wearing in the first game, but it was red. And I believe this is Jill's because of the uh, beret. Looks like Jill has a dog. I hope that dog's okay. Sadly, the zombie disease does, well, virus does affect uh, dogs, so it might not be okay. And that is all rewards for medical treatment to the newest member, Rebecca. Well, let's get out of here. Looks like we picked up everything. Let's just double check the map. Yep, we've got everything. We can see that there's an Uzi in there. However, that's the only thing. Right, so let's open this up very carefully with a mouse. Liquor. Sounds like we're looking this direction. Yeah, there's Lika. But like we're told, it's, it's perfectly safe as long as if we don't get caught by the Lika. It will look for us. Oh, this is locked by the diamond key. Hopefully there's another door out of here. Good old Tammy lock. And he'll reset once we leave the, do the door. Right, so do we have a spare slot? We do. Let's pick up the knife. There we go. Now then, do we have any more inventory space? Looks like we'll have to use up some, sadly. Well, let's go to the... Um, nearby box and store it. Let's also check in on our old friend, because he wasn't answering to us earlier. You are doing okay, Marvin. Okay. I gotta hurry. Yeah, he seems to be in pain, but at least he's still alive. So let's store some stuff. Let's store that, that, and that. That should be enough for now. We should be able to pick up everything with this. But let's equip our knife. We want to use that as our defense item. There's another zombie in here we haven't dealt with yet. Are you in here? We never did explore this area. Yeah, you're in there. God damn it. Right, he went down nice and easy. Oh no. Shit. Right, are you down for good? Nope, you're not down for good. What the fuck? I know, right? You should have been down after that. You bastard. Seriously? Yeah, he seems to be still be alive. Yeah, he's still alive. Right, are you dead now? I don't trust you. Okay, he seems to be dead. Yeah, he's dead. 
Man, looks like his arm came off as well. Poor guy. Right, so we have seen this safe before. Let's open it. So then, where was that uh, memo? It was 9.15.7. Even though it says left, you don't need to go left. You can go right instead. However, left should be quickest. So, uh, what was it again? I had it written down here, luckily, on my cheat sheet next to me, since I just forgot. 9.15.7. There we go. And this gives us access to another hit pouch. You never say no to these. So you can pick that up like right at the start of the game um, if you knew about the combination ahead of time. And that one is also there for the harder difficulty as well. So now we have a detonator. Let's go upstairs. <sighs> and let's explode this dynamite. Or C4 rather. 10 second timer. Right, let's get out of here. Licker did not like that. Also, this door just collapsed. Well, let's get rid of... Let's open this back up before the Licker finds us. There we go. Yeah, this zombie's definitely not coming. Excellent. Well, he probably shouldn't run because there is a Licker, but then again, I think the Licker's already aware of us, so let's just hurry up. Is that a zombie? The zombie was alive after all. What a jerk. Right, so let's have a look back at our officer notebook and see what this final code is. It is a uh, woman, bow, and snake. Right, sounds like the liquor's coming, so let's hurry this up. Woman, bow, snake. Obviously, it's a little bit harder to uh, read it because of all the damage we just did. But luckily, the device still works and we get the medallion. Right, let's get out of here before the liquor finds us. Oh, the liquor found us. Let's get out of here. Yeah, but the liquor is definitely not happy to see us. up with you all right let's just get down we'll deal with a zombie down here instead we should have dealt with him earlier but obviously we didn't know he was going to become a zombie we're missing all of our shots okay let's just body shot him Taking a lot of bullets. It would help if we didn't keep missing. Right, he's down. Are you dead? Yeah, he's dead. Always double check. We do not want his arm to come after us later. If we, if we can ever actually score a hit. Like I said, my frame rate causes problems. Okay, let, let's just assume this guy's dead. Because we can't seem to hit him with our knife.
Right, so how's the station looking? Have we uh, picked up everything we needed to? Well, obviously there's some stuff we haven't been able to pick up, so hopefully we might be able to find a way back here later. But for now, it looks like we've done everything, so let's just get out of here. You coming, Marvin? Come on, Marvin. Looks like it leads underground. Good. We can get out of this hellhole. Hey, Marvin! Guess what? I think I found a way out! Marvin, come on. Let's get you out of here. Let's go. Are you okay? Oh, no. I... Just go. Save yourself. Come on. It's bad. We gotta get you to hospital Please, now. Claire. We both know how this is going to end. Get out of the city. We can't just leave you here. Claire. Please. Go. Do this for me. Okay. Hey, Marvin. Thank you. Marvin. Sadly, we have to leave him behind. So we found ourselves a secret entrance, or exit rather, beneath the police station. Picked up a lot of flame grenades so far. That's good. Nice. Right, so let's put away our flash grenade. We don't need that. So how many um, gunpowders do we have? We have two. So if we press tab here, it will uh, store our inventory, and that'll make it easier to find things. Yeah, so it looks like that's all of our gunpowder. So let's combine some more handgun bullets. And I guess we'll combine some acid rounds as well while we're here. Right, so let's take our grenade launcher. We don't know what's down here. Better to be safe and sorry. And let's take a f another first aid spray. Just make sure we have some good first aid. Now, do we have any more knives? We have our unlimited combat knife. Let's not use that. Yep, I think that's everything. Okay, let's go. So we can't get back up there, because it's just sealed off, but there is this T-shaped thing here. So we should be able to get back into the police station later, which is good, because we still miss some items. Definitely don't want to run down here. We don't want to fall down these stairs. Good old fire hydrants always lighting the way in the darkness. Let's see, is there anything down here? What's this? Hey, hand grenade. It's the first time we've seen one of those. So that's sealed, and it seems to be a, a star's ammunition cache. Right, that's locked from the other side. Okay, it looks like that's everything. Okay, let's get back upstairs. Walk up the dark stairs. Better to be safe than sorry. Ok, 
Okay, this is starting to become a little bit unsettling. Let's just continue. This must be the boiler room. Okay, clearly there's no way through there. Oh dear, that looks suspiciously like a boss arena. Well, let's continue. Understand you. You need help. Why? He's right behind you. What? Oh my God. <laughs> Hi Birkin, how are you doing? The best thing to, to fight uh, the first boss with is just the handgun. It takes a lot of shots, but it will save some important ammo for later. It doesn't really matter where you shoot this guy, even though he has a big obvious weakness that opens up now. And the weakness will do more damage, however, Oh, he's running out of time. Let's get out of here. Whenever he starts chasing us, it's always a good idea just to make get some big distance. Also, we're gonna like wind up our attacks a little bit. Or we'll let him wind up. This thing's So we want to try and uh, bait him to attack us, so that he will stop chasing. So then we can get more distance, so we can shoot him again. Right, where are you going? Right, he just uh, did a big overhead swing, which is, it leaves him really open. However, we did it behind some cover, so that didn't help us. Uh, whenever we start struggling against his own mutation, that's when it's a good idea to start attacking him again. We've lost track of him. Where are you, Birkin? So sometimes you'll try and spook us like that. I got five more handgun bullets, so hopefully we can down him. If not, we'll have to swap to our big guns. Let's try and look for some more ammunition. Mm. 
distance from him. Luckily there's a big there's a big circle in here so we can just keep getting away from him. Come on Birkin, struggle with your mutation again. I'm just gonna turn around and take any pot shots we can take. Let's go pick up some more ammo. We don't want to get stuck in a corner over here. Right, where are you, Birkin? Oh, let's get out of there before he hits us with his pipe. Hanging ammo somewhere in here. Right, like, this could be bad though, we're stuck in a corner. Right, like, you can see that his eye is getting bloodshot, that means he's almost dead. down to our grenades. Sure? Yeah, I promise. Everything's fine. I just need you to lower that ladder for me. Will you help me find my mom? Your mom is down here? I think so. I hope so. Yeah. Of course. I'll help you. Okay, so that boss ate through most of our ammunition, but that's fine because we have all of our grenades still, and that's the best ammunition. So let's just fully explore this location, make sure we're not missing anything. So we are completely out of hanging ammo now, but we will pick up some more over time, so it's not like it's a problem. Let's see, is that everything in here? Let's uh, check the map. 
No, we're still missing something. I think it was um, the first stash we took. I think we didn't fully take every item. Yeah, there's one more green herb. There we go. That's every item in the boss room. This way. Sure thing, but first we're exploring. We're a protagonist, it's what we do. I hear some more gunpowder so we can make some more hanging ammo. Alright, that's everything that was here, sadly. Let's continue. Let's get out of here. So, what's your mom like? She works at the She's like medicine. Umbrella? That big pharmaceutical company? My mom's always at work. I don't get to see her much. Well, hopefully you'll get to see her again soon. Come on, Shelly. So, where's your dad? He, um, worked with my mom, but... He's gone. Excellent, another hit pouch. This is also one that's not here on the hardest difficulty. Wow, both of my parents are gone. It's just me and my brother. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. It means we've got something in common, and that's a good thing, right? So we're gonna keep hold of Sherry now, make sure that she gets out of here safely. It's just a lot easier to um, stop from dying on, like... Um, suddenly forgot her name from Resident Evil 4. Ashley, that's the one. Right, so for now, we should probably keep our grenades out since we're completely out of handgun ammo. Let's actually drop our handgun off. We don't really need it anymore. At least not until we get more ammo for it. Right, let's take a first aid spray with us and then we'll drop the others. Guess we'll keep the gunpowder just in case we find some more gunpowder. <sighs> Tempted to make a safety save here just in case my uh, game crashes. I plan to do this all in one recording. How do you feel about that? We can't even draw a weapon next to Ashley. Not Ashley. Sherry. Hmm. Suppose let's uh, separate the recording just in case it crashes. It's, it's always a possibility. <laughs> 